Hey everybody, uh, back in the shop today, got a quick unboxing slash review, first impressions kind of thing, um, of the Icon Crow's Foot, uh, Crow's Feet, however you want to, I guess, properly say it, set, uh, don't mind, fans are running, trying to blow the mosquitoes on out of here, and, uh, the mascots barking away as usual, so, without further ado, I went ahead, pre-opened it, of course, y'all know how I don't edit, and I try to do this one-handed. But uh, the other day, and I say the other day, probably like three weeks ago, I picked up the um, metric set of these and the uh, metric stubby wrenches as well, which I, I haven't put that review up, but I probably will uh, after this. So today I went back by and I picked up the uh, the SAE set, the standard um, crow's foot set, because I need this uh, 15 16 one to take off some steering lines at work. So before I haul it off to uh, to the day job, I wanted to uh, bring it in my shop and show you um, what it looks like and what's what's in it. So what we got here, 3 8 drive, 3 8 7 16 half inch, 9 16 5 8 11 16 3 quarter. And just a side note, usually this is where everything stops. Most, most other sets, your Pittsburgh sets, even some of the snap sets, they're just uh, 3 8 to 3 quarter. What I love so far, the biggest pro to this and why I went with the Icon, not just because I'm, I'm actually becoming a very big fan of the name, but it's because I get the 13 16 the 7 8 the 15 16 and the 1 inch, uh, which is usually hard to get. They don't skip sizes. That's kind of their claim to fame and their lifetime guarantee. Um, and I'm, I'm pretty, pretty doggone happy. This clocked in at uh, $65 with tax and everything uh, out the door at my local Harbor Freight. So not super cheap, um, but not very, uh, very expensive either. So I won't, uh, I can't complain about that at all. Uh, as usual, quality pack job uh, by Icon. They really know how to make a, uh, make a set of, of stuff uh, really look good. I, I really do agree with that. So let's uh, let's pitch this up, get out the glare, and get an up close look at what we got here. So crow's feet are pretty uh, pretty straightforward. Not much to elaborate. Um, the finish on these things is you can see the shine. The finish is great. They're super smooth. Uh, nothing fancy inside of them. No anti-slip or special grip. Um, just basically a uh, an open end wrench with a socket on it. I mean, it's it's nothing. Uh, I'll of course drop that. Of course, you know nothing fancy about them. They come in the nice holder, and I've actually been using these holders um, because I mean they're really nice holders. You can hear them. I mean, it's pretty good, pretty good plastic. It's pretty rigid. I don't uh, I don't really keep the the plastic cover. But I do, uh, I do keep the, I do keep the bottom. I like how all the, uh, the standard stuff comes red, all the metric stuff comes black, and they pretty much all come with their own holders. So I can just slap them in the box, and I'm done with them. Everything's open. I just walk up, hey, I need this. Boom, I'm back, away from my toolbox. I'm at the job site. Uh, I'm at my job in my bay, and I'm doing my thing. So, like I said, pretty straightforward. Nothing, uh, nothing really to elaborate on here. Decent finish. I say great finish for a foreign made uh, tool, what I've come to expect by Icon, uh, a nice little organizer to come with it all at a, at a low rate price. Um, I really feel like Icon is stepping up here and, uh, and filling the role that, uh, that Sears left behind, um, as in the, uh, the everyday man's medium, medium of the road quality wise tool. Uh, the only thing that's downside to them, they're not made in the States, but um, time has moved on. Things are very expensive to produce in the States, rightfully so, because of the, the wages required to live here for the workers and the, and the health care and everything else that, uh, that has to be provided. So it's understandable uh, that they do go overseas. It's a shame that it is that way, but uh, it's understandable that they are making this uh, overseas because they uh they're trying to basically in my opinion fill that void that sears left 
on the Craftsman left. And the best way to do that, to get the price down, is to make something of a quality product, but make it overseas and, and ship it over here. And uh, for that, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hate on them. I'm not gonna knock them down. Uh, like I said, I'm really enjoying their stuff, and I, and I think they have their place and their role. And uh, especially when it comes to stubbies, stubby wrenches, crow's feet, things of that nature, stuff that you're gonna use four or five, six times a year. I mean, I'm gonna use this maybe six, seven times a year on average, and I'm a professional mechanic. So a homeowner uh, is not gonna use these very often at all. So there's not really any reason to really dump a whole lot of money into the sets. Um, you can if you have the money and you want to, but I think uh, clocking in at 65 bucks, tax title license out the door for this set, something I'm only gonna to touch four to six times a year. I really think this is the way to go. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.